So you may have just picked up your iPhone or your iPad and you might be trying to figure out how to use the calendar application on this particular phone or your tablet. Now doing it is pretty basic. You can make your way over into the calendar app, which looks just like this on any iPhone, whether it's stock iOS or whatever, you should be able to have this particular application. Now the calendar app is actually pretty basic. So it's a very simple layout. There's not really a crazy amount of things going on here. So at the very top, so at the very top, which you can see if you're in portrait mode like this, if you're in landscape, it's a little bit different. But at the very top, you'll see a couple things. You'll see a back arrow that shows the you know months you can kind of go back in. You have this little tier list that comes up right here, which if you tap on it, will change it from how it looks like this to basically like a week of view to all your events that are going on. You can also just untap it to get back into the normal one. You have a little search bar up here, which allows you to search through all your different events and everything that you're doing. You can also just go and click cancel out here to get out of it. You can click on this plus button if you want to add an event. So this is very cool, and we're going to talk about this in a second. Then you have your standard days up here, so you can just quickly you know, see the days. You can jump to a different day if you want to tap on it. And you can also skip between weeks by just scrolling through and swiping between the weeks like this. Right over here if you want to quickly go between the weeks that you have. Now, all day events are basically events that are there all day. So, you know, if it's meetings or whatever, if it's an all day event, that will show up right there. Then you'll have your actual calendar right in the center. So you can kind of scroll through, make things look bigger or smaller, depending on what you're going to do. So I think that's another thing you have, you know, the other option you have here too. So you can just kind of scroll through here and kind of decide what you want to do here. Now, let's say you're like a couple of moments away. Like, let's say you're like a couple of things ahead for the most part of your particular device. You can always tap on today, which is in the bottom left, and it will always jump you back in today, whatever day you're in. Now, calendars is very cool as well, because if you tap on calendars, it'll show you all the different calendars that are available. So these can be calendars like home or work, or if you have a different type of calendar for religious events or for uh, you know any other events, hobbies, like soccer practice or any sports you're in, you can have a different calendar per event and you can toggle them on or off if you want to view them or if you don't want to view them. You can also delete calendars by tapping on the eye. Then you can just click on adding a person and you can you know remove it from here if you want to as well. You can hide calendars, you can add a calendar. So it's a very cool thing that you kind of have here too. Clicking on done, what you can do is you also have inbox. So any invites you know from calendars that you've had in the so any calendars that you've been invited to or any invites you've sent out, those should be seen here, either from new or calendars that you've replied to. So any events that have basically happened there, and that's kind of it. Now, the other thing you can also do is you can hold down on any part of the empty spot of your calendar to start creating events. Now, events are pretty basic because what you can do is you can set the time and dates and anything like that of the specific event that you want to be in. So in this case, for this event, if I just wanted to title it like event, I can just go and type an event like this. This will be one part. Location or video call, I can either set a physical location of it or I can just add a FaceTime call. If I just tap on FaceTime, I can just go and create a FaceTime call like this so it's just a virtual meeting. I can have it set as an all-day meeting if it's like an all-day hands-on where everyone is you know, going to be calling in and everyone wants to join, it's all day. I can do that. If not, I can set it for a specific time. So as you can see, this event is for an hour. If I go and want to change the date, I can just, you know, change it to a specific date like this and it will change for both sides. If I don't want it to be an hour, I want it to be 35 minutes, I can go and you know kind of change this time out a little bit more and kind of change it like this. So I can change this up to 1045. And you can configure this again, whichever way you want to. Like it really is this basic. Now you can also go and travel time if there's any travel time associated with it. Repeat if you want it to be a weekly meeting, daily meeting, whatever it is. Specify the calendar that you want it to be on as well. Invitees, so many other things across the board, notes, URLs, if there's any you know, attachments people need to know about. This is a really cool thing for people to just kind of jump into. Now, if you want to add it, you can click add, and that calendar invite should be added wherever it was, so right here. Now, you can also move an event if you want to by just highlighting it, and you can drag it to a different day by just going it like this. So I can drag it around if I really want to. I can drag and drop it somewhere else. I can also tap into that event right here. I can delete the event if I want to. That's another option that I have as well. And it's a really cool little event that I have here, and it's a really cool thing that you can basically do here. So at a high level, that's kind of how you use the Note app. Or the, so at a high level, that's how you use the Calendar app. And on iPhones, you can always swoop it around this way. You can also view it this way as well, which is one way that I use it all the time. So, so at a high level, that's how you use the Calendar app on your particular iPhone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well done.